Final table here at the Palm Beach Casino in Mayfair, London, and behind me, in the room there, are nine players fighting for the £10,000 top prize. They include November Niner, Sam Holden, and Martin Dedenia. The London are having a lot of the chips right now. Let's check out the action. Unfortunately, we were just about to catch up with you before the final table, but we haven't really had much of a chance. You're all in pretty much first hand and, and unfortunately called by the chip leader. Yes, um, came ninth again. <laughs> no, I, uh, three bet shove 25 big lines with base king suited, which uh, is a, a, a large shove, um, but uh, because there's so many people lower chips than me, um, you know, want to get many small pairs to fold as possible and, uh, and yeah unfortunately it was the chip leader that opened so he had me covered and uh, he had tens and I had ace king and then it came king blank blank king ten <laughs> which is always fun <laughs> Finisher Bill Finn, congratulations on finishing in the money. Firstly, Bill, yeah, thanks. Uh, well played over the tournament. An unlucky hand to, to be crushed with, basically. He left you with uh, not much of your stack left. Tell us about it. Uh, kings, I had kings, and uh, they've been raising every hand. Every hand have been raised very aggressive table, so I linked, went for the raise. Nobody raised. The flop come over two six nine, yeah. two six nine, <laughs> and. Uh, Someone had two six. <laughs> <laughs> and you obviously raised at that point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Off by, the, by, box, by the two pair that hit. It's quite amazing. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. It was the only hand that uh, hadn't been raised. Hadn't been raised yet. I limped it yeah. because they've been raising every single hand. Exactly. And it had up until that point been a very active table. Yeah, good very, strategy by yeah. you because you were playing exactly how the table was playing. <laughs> but, uh, just got a bit unlucky it didn't that time. That's, that's right, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And it's Paul Seaton here with Paul Seaton Smith. <laughs> I was kinda of hoping you'd be the winner, Paul, but yeah. well done. Sixth place and a great performance. How do you feel you played at the final table? Um I definitely feel I mean basically at a, in a final table where everyone's quite short, sure, I just think it's all about fold equity, trying to get people to, to put hands down. Mm. Um and there's one spot where some person, some guy's raised with ace jack and I've shoved out the big blind and he's folded ace jack and I just think just getting that last bet in. You know, if people are going to fold ace jack at a final table, then you're going to have some edge there. So I was just trying to build a high amount of chips to make it look like I've got more chips than I have. Just try and get people to fold their hands. And to be honest, I got pretty lucky. I shoved eight or nine times in the last half an hour and got called once and when I did get called I had pocket nines which is obviously probably the best hand I've had of, the, every, of every single time mm. but unfortunately for me it you know, got into a race and didn't, my hand didn't hold so I was happy how I played I mean I, you know, I had 12 big blinds so I'm, I'm obviously Absolutely. I'm shoving nine yeah. so. No I have to say I was very impressed with that you say you pulled a few tricks out of the bag you Congratulations on your second you. place and well played over the whole of the tournament. It's quite late or slash early morning here yeah. in London, but you feel happy with your play? Yeah, yeah, it's gutting not getting first, but his chip lead was something else. <laughs> Absolutely, you were sort of six to one dog basically in that situation yeah. um, in terms of chip ratio. 
how does that change things heads up? Makes it very difficult, doesn't it? Oh yeah, so much. He he, he can call me so many times and not be at risk. It's unbelievable, yeah. So you just have to keep on it in and like uh, sometimes you'll get there, sometimes you won't. And um, I mean like yeah, uh, Bennett, like it was between me or Bennett, like that flip was probably worth like uh, se second place money, which was mm. about 450000 at that time, so uh, yeah, that, that would have been nice, but I don't know, it's all good. It'll ha it does happen for a reason though, doesn't it, and yeah. you'll come back and win other tournaments for sure, oh, yeah. like you have done today, you know. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Definitely. yeah it's just the start of good things, really. Yeah, well, we certainly hope it is for you at Spade Social, and I'm sure 888 Poker would say exactly the same from all of us at the tournament. Congratulations on taking the tournament down. We look forward to seeing you at the next high roller as well. All right, thanks, man. All right, cheers, Martin. Thanks.